Hey guys, Ballistic Extension here today, Caleb, and we're going to be looking at a new product that it's got, and that is the Tandem Cross Quick Grip 22 Mag Pouches. And obviously what they are, are they're, pou they're pouches for your spare magazines, so uh, I believe they fit several different models of magazines. Um, I know for a fact they fit Ruger, that's what I'm using, a Ruger Mark III 2245. And I'm sure there's a couple other models they fit as well. Really great uh, mag pouches, we'll go over them here and do a close up in a second. I'm just going to shoot them a little bit, do a couple reloads with them. I will say I haven't practiced with them a whole lot, <laughs> so I did a little dry fire with them, and so far I really like the way they perform. Um, I'll quit making excuses now, we'll go ahead and shoot a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the paper a couple times, shoot the seal, reload, hit the seal again, shoot paper, and um, I might do some other stuff, shoot some more seal. I got two fully loaded magazines here, so we'll just have a little fun. As I said before, I got my Ruger Mark III 2245, so... I will say that reloading with these magazines is kind of awkward compared to some of the other uh, magazines on the market because of the, the angle of them and also the base pad, how it extends. So it does make it a little difficult to get it in the gun. So I might be a little slow compared to some of the other, my other guns I shoot. But I haven't practiced this in a while actually. So I'm looking to start shooting seal challenge with it. And I'm really excited about that actually. So I'm going to be doing that pretty soon, hopefully. All right, enough talking. Let's shoot some. Here we go. Dot side on here. All right. All right, so that's pretty good. Pretty smooth reload, actually. I'm pretty proud of myself. That was about five seconds, a little over five seconds. I did it. I was practicing earlier. I got it under four, or over, uh, sorry, under five, about four and a half. So, not my best run. Pretty decent. We'll do that again, just show you guys what it looks like here. We'll stay, we'll stay hot, putting that magazine back in my pouch, and uh, do it one more time. Got it in my dot sight there. All right, not too bad. Uh, pretty smooth retention. I really like the way the retention set up on these. It's not too tight and not too loose, so. Really just gives you enough resistance, but it comes out when you need it to. So we'll go ahead and burn through the rest of this ammo here. Why not, you know? So have a little fun. We're going to take a closer look at them. Let's see here. What we got? Pretty cool guy over here. All right. Well, it's looks like we're empty, guys. So I'm going to cut over, and we're going to take a closer look at these magazine pouches. Okay, now that I subjected you guys to the torturous part of watching me shoot, we're going to take a closer look here at these magazine pouches. So, uh, like I said earlier, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, what's really cool about these is how they lock together. And you can see here they just come apart like so. And really the way they're made to be ran, I think, whenever you're shooting with them is to have them all clipped together. And this gives you a nice solid lockup with all of them. I really like that part of them. Uh, they're pretty simple design. Uh, they're just two pieces. It looks like um, they've formed together and they're held together by these... Uh, Screw, screw there, and then there's a couple other uh, screws up here. So there's two pieces, and they just stick together. I'm not sure if you could adjust the retention on them by uh, moving those screws. Like I said, I really like the retention on them now, so I'm not going to mess with it. They came adjusted that way, so so far they've been great. And just to give you guys a better idea of the retention on them, just off the belt. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy. So just enough drag there, so they don't fall out or anything. I mean, they're not going anywhere. But if you want them out, they're, you know, they're there. So. You know, as you can see, that's how you spell Tandem Cross. You guys are wondering. I'll put a link in the description to their website. But TandemCross.com. And that's all that's marked on them. Uh, pretty nice. I will mention that the um, loop here is for a 2-inch belt. I measured it. So 2 inches is probably going to be your best bet. You can use a one and a half, which is actually what I was using. Um, I don't have a 2 and a half, a 2 inch belt, actually. So um, they were a little loose, but that's obviously because I was using the wrong belt. But even with a loose belt, they still the retention was still, you know, it wasn't too bad. So... I really like that about them. Um, you know, just make sure you get a two-inch belt when you run them. So they're pretty cheap, actually. Talk about cost. They're only twenty bucks for two of them, which is not bad compared to say something like um, this. This is what I use for my. Oops, sorry about that. This is what I use for my Glock. Um, some double alpha stuff, and they're actually like thirty thirty-five bucks a piece just for one magazine pouch. And these are you know twenty bucks for two, and you really can't beat that. And also another thing I've noticed. When I started looking into getting some magazine pouches for this gun is there's not many out there. In fact, I looked on Amazon, places like that, and the only thing I could find were the old nylon kind. 
that had Velcro straps, and they just really didn't look like they were made to run, you know, in a, a competition type scenario, or just, you know, they weren't very compact, they just looked kind of bulky, you know, cheaply made. And another thing I noticed is they held the magazines flat against the body, they didn't hold them out like these do. That's another major thing when you're reloading from the belt, is having the magazine, you're going to either want to have it out or facing this way, so that when it comes out, the bullet tip's already going to be going right directed towards that mag well. Instead, if you have it flat, you got to twist it all the way around, it's a lot of extra movement there. So that's another good thing I like about them. Um, like I said, really nothing negative to say. They're pretty durable. I mean, they're not they're not going to break. They're pretty tough, actually. In fact, I stepped on one earlier just to see what would happen, and they're great. So um, so far, I really like them, and I'd like to thank Ken Macross once again. And stay tuned for more, guys, and uh, we'll see you all later.